Hello, I'm Blizznap, and welcome to a quick guide on how to get all of the drift mods in the game. Now, these are, of course, from the seven principles of the Oroken Moon, the new challenges which have been patched in with U18. So, um, I'm going to just run through these as quick as I can. Hopefully, you find this guide useful. I... Uh, it was difficult, but honestly, the rewards were worth it. These seven mods are quite cool. They really are. I mean, aura strength and effectiveness? That's epic. But this one, this one I really like. Parkour velocity, that's... And anyhow, um, so I'm going to dive right in, and good luck. Okay, now we come to the organ room. Now, first things first... Everything down here, apart from these two moving pillars, is lava. Just don't touch it. The floor is lava. As soon as you are past the very first section of this, touching the floor will reset the puzzle completely. So you start by shooting this little plate above the door. That opens these two organs. At this point you can touch the floor, it's fine. But anything after this, it will reset the puzzle and you have to start completely anew. So you jump into these pipes and they will pop you out. And what I recommend doing is taking a maxed fire walker or, or what is it? Ice spring? Ice step? Those kinds of mods or something near max. Mine's 7 out of 10 which is easy enough to do. Didn't cost me that many cores. And I can jump straight up to the top here. Or of course a mobilizer pantagium will do the same thing. Anything that affects your bullet jump. Now anyhow, as I was saying, so when you jump out of the pipe that makes another one of these plates available to shoot, which will open the next pipe, and then we repeat until we work our way all the way up to the top, and this door opens. So the next plate we want to shoot is this one here, which opens that pipe just by it. And one thing to note here is you have to be really careful to not land on the edge. If you land on the edge, it will almost certainly be a heavy landing and you will walk in whatever direction you're facing so I recommend when you land if you do land on the edge of the thing just facing inwards to walk in a certain direction anyhow the next plate is sort of opposite the other one it's on the opposing wall we shoot that and that opens this little pipe below us here point out that the, the lid of the pipe is fine to, to land on. And you bullet jump up. And this is why you shouldn't bring a charge weapon and a sonic or to do this. The next one is here. Pretty much opposite the starting wall. And honestly the best way of doing this is with some kind of rapid fire pistol with punch through. Because you have to shoot both of those. Now this opens this one for us. And this one's very easy to get into. And then we are pretty much home free. We come to this one, which opens this pipe here. Be careful not to overthink these, just a simple bullet jump in. And finally, we come to the most forgiving part. So we shoot this to open it. Now, if you land them on the yellow ones, before you land in the green. It will close the green one, but you just shoot this again to reopen it. If you land on one of the yellow ones afterwards, it's basically another attempt at getting up through here, because this can be somewhat tricky, because you have to bullet jump up, and bullet jump involves crouching, which will immediately rob you of all of your upward momentum, in some strange irony. But uh, See, if we hop in here, it pops us up, and you want to just aim up. You just want to aim and look up, and it will carry you up. If you try to bullet jump, you will almost certainly fall. Anyhow, so this takes us up into the portal room, I guess. And we go through here into the rewards room, and we get... Uh, that's the wrong button. Agility Drift, which reduces damage whilst airborne, and gives us some evasion, which is lovely. Okay then. 
Okay, and now we come to the cooperation room, or the team room, or the squad room, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Basically, the room requires you have at least two people in your squad, which is somewhat unfortunate, as, of course, we're doing this on Plato, which you can easily solo run. But basically, you come in, and you will see this glowing thing, and when you stand on it, these platforms come out. Now, if you step off it, the platforms go away again, but on this little pillar up ahead, you can see another one of these platforms... And if you step on that, these stay. Stepping on that opens up these two pillars by the side. And whichever one you stand on, you start doing that side first. Now, once the platforms move down into their full position, the corner by them will have one of these in. Now, what you want to do is stand on this and not move. Leave your, leave your teammate there for a moment. Jump down and get in the one below. Because in each of the corners there is this little cave and it's easy to miss this. So we come out and we're just going to move on to the next corner. So my lovely assistant will land up here. That will open. I will glide gracefully to the floor and step on it. So let's do these quickly. As always, I can highly recommend um, a Firewalker or Ice Spring or that sort of mod for these. So, there we go. You know, Mobilize and pat Patagium. However, that said, they do very well, but frankly, a maxed out Firewalker is fantastic. For those Master Rank 21 people out there. who can afford to put 500 cores into a rare mod. Now, once you've done all four of these, this central tower in the middle will reveal these four pillars. You have to do all four to get up in here, but basically you just step over this rock and just jump up in here and you will see there are four platforms in here. And this is why, unfortunately, you need a teammate. A Loki cannot do on this on his own, because you need four people in here. So two Lokis can do this, or two anyone can do this, actually. Because if you step on one of these, and throw a Spectre on the floor, and then immediately tell him to hold position, and of course he won't, because he's a little git. But, oh, really? This is uh, ju just... Uh, so, I don't know why, but Clems are very good at just holding position when you spawn them, giving you time to hit hold position on them. And so we can see, when all four are pressed down, you don't have to do it in order, you can just stay standing on it. This will open, and you have to wait for it to fully open, or the doors will close again. And you just bullet jump up here, do a little hop, and through into the portal. And we get... Co 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 coaction Drift, which is Aura Strength and Aura Effectiveness, I believe, which is just fantastic. Okay, this time we have the Energy Room, where we have this odd-looking room, which has four glass orbs on the walls, and when you get cl close to them, they start draining your energy. Now, they will drain 50 energy to completely charge themselves, and they turn blue then and stop draining your energy. And if all four are charged within, I believe it's about a minute, then a opening will appear in... In fact, it already is, but that's buggy, so let's finish this anyway. <laughs> then this opening will appear, and you can go down these stairs, which should be closed before you do that, and fall into a void room. And as we go through, we come into the loot room. And we get Power Drift, which is Power Strength and Knockdown Recovery, which is absolutely brilliant. Okay, so now we're in the Waterfall Room. Now, we have these four pillars, each of which has a little thing. Thing? Thing seems to be the appropriate word. Covering one of the pillars that... one of the... <laughs> Exposable covers, whatever you call them. When you shoot all four, we'll start this thing, and it, it should, it should, it should 
It sh I feel like I was mistaken here. Did I make a mistake? And there is no water running. Okay. When we shoot these two things, this is just for helping us actually do the mini challenge. So when we shoot these two, this will start, and our dear friend Guilty Spark will pop out and try to murder us as soon as we step on this golden platform. Now, Guilty Spark is rather pissed at me right now, and I really can't blame him. I did step on his golden platform. But if we s jump on one of these things, he will shoot at us, and if we jump at the appropriate moment, he will break his delightful pillars. And so that's why we have the uh, deployable cover. Now each time he does break a pillar, he will teleport to the middle and do this little attack, and it will get successively harder each time to avoid. So, now we can see he is really mad at us, and I missed that, and you can see, ow, that this does an insane amount of slash damage. You really, really should try to avoid this. This is why, of course, I have an assistant with an iron skin. Okay. There we go. Delightful. Now, he should whirlwind this time? Yep, there we go. You can bullet jump out of this one, but apart from that, it's really quite hard to avoid this one. And if you get sucked in, you will, of course, take quite a lot of damage. I don't know why in particular, but he seems to like going for the host. Now, these uh, little pockets are, I believe, magnetic radiation will drain your energy. It could be... Sorry, magnetic radiation? It's radiation radiation! Oh god, the worst kind. So if you do go into those, try to avoid shooting your allies. That's generally bad for business. Now once all four are broken, Guilty Spark will dock up and you step in the middle again and this goes down into the void room. Now a quick note, if you do leave... Okay then. If you do leave that area halfway through, it will reset the puzzle back to the start. But I don't believe it is possible to fail that. So we come, of course, into the loot room, and we try to hack it apart, but we get Cunning Drift, which is... I actually missed that. Slide, <laughs> a reduction to friction, and power range. Now that is fantastic. Okay, so now we come to what some people are calling a time trial, but what I'm going to simply call the glide room, because... It is insanely easy to do. It really is. You just need to aim glide completely across the room. So we step on this platform and a bunch of lasers will start. And then we just jump and glide across the other side through this door. Lasers haven't even hit me yet. Stand on this and we're done. That's it. Could not be easier. And honestly, I hope D makes that one a little harder. Because I like the challenge. And from this, of course, we get Stealth Drift, which gives us Aim Glide and Enemy Radar. Okay, and now we come to the Carousel Room, or the Endurance Trial, as it's probably better known. Now, in this room, there are a total of 13 lasers pointing at a single point on the map, and... Simply put, there is a button which pushes up out of the floor and the lasers will hit it and slowly destroy it unless you stand on it. If you stand on it, you protect it, but of course then there are 13 lasers pointed at you. So the first thing we do is we go to this oddly, I don't know, precarious looking chandelier in the first room. Shoot that, and that has permanently blocked this laser here. Now we have a laser here and one just on the other side, and these can be blocked by shooting a button which will appear on the back of them, but otherwise they are permanent. Now down here, there is this one and one on either side, and these can be blocked by the uh, revealable cover, I think it's called. And finally there are eight in the carousel itself, which can be blocked just like the ones up above us by shooting a button on the back of them. Now. Just before we start this, I'd like to point out that whilst you're in this, any abilities will be disabled, you cannot cast, and there appears to be 
a barrier blocking you from shooting the, uh, the the backs of the lasers if no one is standing on this. So it's impossible to block all of them without someone standing there. So someone has to be standing in the middle of this. So it's highly advised that you have a blessed trin, uh, maybe an EV trin, just generally things to keep that person alive. But what we're going to be doing is using a Valkyr, because if Valkyr is in her ult when she goes in, it will not be removed. Here we can see the withstanding platform is held down by Valkyr, but her ult stays on. Now, this particular build is max duration and max efficiency, but... Uh, I forget, does it have a fleeting expertise? It does have a fleeting expertise, this build, which isn't entirely necessary. And a flow. And you're going to drain about 85 to 100 energy doing this, because it takes two minutes... We're just waiting for this to fill up with water. Seriously, it takes two minutes. If you do it like this, you're guaranteed to get it. It's just slow. As I say, you can shoot the backs of these to turn them off. I have seen these being destroyed, but I don't entirely know how. And if I hop up here... Oh, sorry. If I hop up here, you can see I can destroy the back. I can turn these off as well. And... Yeah. So, this one's easy, I mean, honestly, if you have a full squad of people, this one should be pretty easy. Someone with a Sonic Orc can cover four or five of these on their own. So two guys with Sonic Orcs and a Blessed Trin and your Golden. And a Valkyr in the middle, of course. So... Are we nearly done? What is that, like 20 seconds left? I'm just gonna put a jump cut in, or maybe I should fast forward it. I prefer fast forwarding, honestly, because I feel like when you jump cut, people suspect you're gonna leave things out. Like, so yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll just fast forward through this. And yes, River, there are more up ahead. Oh wait, no, there aren't, we killed everything. And we're done! And the carousel drops down, and then you are taken down into the portal room, through which you can go to get into the delightful vault room and claim your prize, which is, of course, Endurance Drift, which is power max, as in energy and parkour velocity, which is awesome, because I don't believe. I think there's only one other mod that has parkour velocity on it, which is kind of cool. Okay, now we're coming to the rarest, and I would say the most difficult of the challenges. Okay. Now, for this one, this one is the speed trial, and it is really simple. we just got to be as fast as we possibly can and as good with our, with our parkour as we can be. And honestly, it has taken me many, many tries to do this one. And I still haven't done it. So, let's find out. Now, the first thing you want to do is go through this door and break these two thumpers, because they are going to get thoroughly in your way. And before that sentient runs off and gets his friends, what we want to do is go through either of the door, um, we want to shoot the plates and go through either of the doors ahead and to the right of the plate we shoot. And, eh, uh, these guys are going to be a problem. Gentlemen, over here, please. Up here. Ah, screw them. They're not that much of a threat anyway. So, alright. So we shoot this and go through here stand on this plate and as we can see this little thing above the door comes together and just before it comes together you want to speed yourself up as much as you can because these doors will come down and simply put we have to get to the end before the door comes down and it is not easy again I have not actually completed this one yet this will be my first complete run if I manage uh, no, 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 Okay. <clears throat> Pardon my language. And this pillar will come up in the middle, and you just jump up. And 
into the portal room. <sighs> okay. It's, it's not often that I take Volt out. <laughs> it's not often that I take Volt out for anything other than his ult. And for this, of course, we get Speed Drift, which gives us Sprint Speed and Casting Speed, which is fantastic. Anyhow, um, yeah. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope that my guide has been somewhat helpful to you. Uh, please like and comment below, and definitely comment if you found easier ways of doing any of these runs, or perhaps a little trick that might work, or maybe something you think is a bug, and DE will patch out soon, so you probably shouldn't get used to doing it that way. Anyhow, yeah, like I say, comment below, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you very much for watching.